Hey guys, welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 7. Aww, yeah. <laughs> so, just a couple reminders here real quick. Um, the build contest is over, uh, so make sure you go check out that video. It came out uh, yesterday, the, the day before this video comes out. Um, and it, it's it's going pretty good. I, I, was, I was pretty happy with it. Um, obviously, I, you know, it would have been great to have a few more people involved, but I understand that people, you know, they're working on their main bases and all of that stuff. So I'm not, you know, it's not something I'm going to, I'm going to like lose sleep over. Um, we may do another one later on where we can try and have more people, but I think for right now, um, what we had as a turnout is completely, oh God, we're completely out of these. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh God, we're out of those two. Okay. Uh, anything else? Oh God, we're almost out of those. I mean, not a bad haul though. Not a bad haul. Oh God, we're out of those. <laughs> I just came to check on our hoppers, our hooper hoppers, see if we made our money back. So we've made 12 diamonds already. That's almost half of what we spent. So I feel like it's it's a good thing. Also, another reminder, uh, second channel, make sure to drop down in the description, check that out. Uh, it's, you know, uh, the there was a Hermitcraft stream yesterday, uh, the day before, th again, the day before this video comes out, which will be posted the day this video comes out uh, on the second channel. So make sure you head over there. Uh, there is a link in the description to check that out. And yet another reminder, <laughs> go ahead and hit that like button. Show your support for the series and the channel uh, because it does help. It really does. Uh, no matter no matter what you think, it does it does really really help. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is pop over here. What I need to do is pop over here and repair some stuff because uh, it's 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 pretty broke. Uh, let's go in here. There shouldn't. I don't think there's any kind of spoilers in here. Uh, but we are going to be heading into the build the build competition zone uh, and working on some things there now that I can actually get in there and do some work. Um, I do have a plan to expand it a bit. Is somebody here or did they just forget to turn it? I think they forgot to turn it off. Okay, uh, but it's going to get super loud here, so... Burp. As you saw, I had gathered enough stuff to make 10 beacons. Um, I was rather hopeful about the build contest, but I understand, you know, like I said, other people were busy with their stuff. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've gone ahead and got the, the, the beacons together. It's a full beacon kit. Um, as you can see, it's got enough blocks to make the beacon base as well as the beacon itself. Um, I guess I could have put in a thing to activate the beacon. But I guess they're just going to have to come up with that on, the, on their own. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go ahead and drop one of these off for every person. Me being a stickler for not wanting to spoil anyone's anything. Like the th there's something behind me. I don't, I don't know if it's been shown yet or not. I doubt it because of the state it's in. Uh, but it's behind me so I can't turn around. But we're going to go ahead and drop off one of these little thank you gifts. All right, guys, so we're over here at Beef's Portal, dropping this. Okay, we got to put that little bit of a thank you sign. Thank you. Hey, hey, what are you, hey, oh, hey, what are you doing? Oh, um, uh, hi. <laughs> you're, dropping, you're dropping a chest off? Uh, yeah, it, it's, I mean, you know, it, it's a thank you chest. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you know, I'm probably I'm just so used to being paranoid around all these hermits that I'm thinking I, you're doing something terrible. I, I can't blame you. I mean, it's it's just a chest, but <laughs> it's just a chest, right? I, I mean, you know, but you know, stuff can magically appear inside of it. It's it's a magic chest, so. Oh, you know, it is a magic chest because I just opened it and there was nothing in there. Oh wow, get out of here! Oh, dude, that is so nice. <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. Uh -huh. I was about to spend hours and hours uh, mining for iron because I'm completely out. <laughs> <laughs> so this could come in very, very handy. This is just for participating in your contest. It's it's a it's a just a participation trophy. That's awesome, dude. I will participate in all the future <laughs> trophies, all the I, future contests that you hold. And that's the thing. Like I I I I farmed enough stuff to make ten beacons. Wow. Just, you know, that, in preparation. <laughs> yes, that is so nice. I'm going to put this to good use. I, I can't promise you it'll actually use all the iron blocks for the beacon, but I'll definitely... No, that's, no, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I just, that's I, awesome, man. Yeah, I just wanted to give everybody, you know, just enough stuff to actually build a full working... I mean, you, you would have to provide one iron to, like, activate it, but I figured people could go What a rip-off. <laughs> I do really awesome, appreciate dude. you taking part with your convenient taco store. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was fun. I really enjoyed the process. I went through like so many different ideas of what to build, and then I was <laughs> like, okay, so this town needs some. I just didn't want to build just another house. This right. town needs something where people could get food before the apocalypse. A Seven Eleven, but apparently it was a convenient taco <laughs> store. <to you. laughs> well, Which I was I was torn between a convenience store of some type. <clears throat> and a taco shop because yeah. where i lived in tucson the the taco shops are known for bright vibrant kind of colors uh-huh yeah and so and I, it had been a minute since i'd seen a 7-eleven yeah but now that you know after people said oh it's a 7-eleven like, oh right well i'm glad the people <laughs> realized <what> it, <laughs> it was it was good though like it, you know nothing to, i'm not trying to take away from the build like it was a good build i just to me, not seeing yeah. a Seven Eleven for a minute, kind of. Oh, I I think probably all the Europeans are completely lost right. as to what oh, it's supposed this to be. Guy. This guy. Oh here. wow, that's wow. a that's a thing. It's it's a giant. Should we should we kill the bee? It's a bee. When did you log in? Who's he talking about? <laughs> I don't know you. Who? Me? Wow, he's very nosy, isn't he? <laughs> I know. What is he? What? Beef, we wanted to talk to you. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. I'm in trouble. All right, XB, thank you so much, dude. That is really, really appreciated. All right, um, go get your 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 trouble taken care of. Man. All right, see you later. Right, see you later. All right, guys, so I had these beacons left over. Obviously, there's no beacons in there, but I had some beacons left over. Um, so I decided, why not make some beacon kits to sell, right? And so each one of these is going to have a beacon in it. Um, obviously, we need iron. Um, when I said I farmed enough to make 10 beacons, I meant for the, like, the actual beacon itself. <laughs> but... I figured, why not offer uh, the beacon base along with it? So we're over here at the iron shop. And this is going to be expensive. Um, it's going to be roughly a... No, actually, it's going to be exactly a stack and a half <clears throat> of of, uh, of the precious blue stones here. Um, I think I'm going to sell each one for 42 diamonds. It's not quite half a stack. It's not quite a stack. I feel like it's a pretty reasonable price, give or take. Um, you know, it saves farming. It could help them get diamonds even faster. Yeah. Um, so we need 32 stacks of 32 or 16 stacks, full stacks. So <laughs> I 
Uh, three times 32, 96, which you can see we have here. So, yeah. So, one, two, 16 stacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's expensive. Ay vey. Okay. So, we're going to do this and then this. So, four stacks of 41, as you saw in the other ones. Uh, that makes a full beacon base. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out where where we should put this. I'm thinking somewhere where people will see it. So maybe if we stick it right there. And then we're going to go full beacon kits. 42 diamonds each. All right, and then we're just going to slap these guys up in here. Um, let's do this. Aha! Yay! And then I'll make an announcement in uh, the Hermitcraft Discord and all that stuff that this is this is a thing, and it's a very limited stock. But all in all, we should make it a decent little profit if they sell. I mean, obviously for Corrales, it's lamps. Um, but, I mean, you know, if he's willing to buy this for lamps, then <laughs> he's the guy to sell them. Oh, no. Uh, he's the guy to sell them to. Uh, I got to restock all this. All right, guys. So we've got a little bit of a thing going on here, as you can see. Um, we're going to be building it, I think, out of diorite because, honestly, it's it's the only white. Well, I mean, there's quartz, um, but I don't feel like building with quartz. So <laughs> we're going to build it out of diorite. Um, I like diorite, so I'm going to use it. Okay, but I wanted to build something big because my thoughts were, I mean, not like it's not going to be like super structure big. Uh, I just meant big for this area uh, because all the builds here currently are the same size. And so I wanted to build something a bit bigger and I didn't want to go with like a standard kind of build. So I'm... I'm thinking outside the box here, which I generally try to do. I try to think out of the box regularly, uh, just, you know, so that stuff doesn't end up looking kind of boxy. <laughs> I know, the, 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 the game's made out of blocks, but it's fine. For some reason, oh, the, oh, that's, okay, that's, yeah, never mind. I was going to say, for some reason, okay, it's because cause, cause you're not using your brain place. Good job. Um... No, I really want something that stands out. So the thought behind this build is that the developer, the guy, the person, doesn't have to be a guy, the person that owns all the land that this entire place was built on had a house here too. And obviously he's got the biggest plot because he's got the most money. So... Uh, you can see I did combine three plots across here because that's going to be the size of his plot. And then this, I'm going for a modern kind of build. Uh, you can see kind of the shape of it here. I mean, that's not the final design. Uh, there's going to be something coming up over the top and doing, you know, some kind of funkiness. But I wanted a really kind of over the top kind of design for this build. So, you know, because he's a little eccentric and he's he's kind of... I'm thinking underground garage, which I have plans for something else kind of connected to that. Uh, so that's why the house kind of ends where it ends, is so we can have something that comes underground into, like, some sort of underground parking garage. Um, he's just, you know, like I said, this person's just... They got money. You know what I mean? They got money. It's all good. I don't like the fact that I could see the... <laughs> the spectator head there that's kind of suck but let's get to it
Well, I think I've figured out a final design. You guys saw a little bit of a time that I was just, yeah, it, it just, it started going a, a very bad direction. <laughs> like it was not a good direction at all. Um, it started looking like an egg and then I was like, well, maybe the guy, the, the person that owned this house made their money in eggs. Maybe it, no, it was bad. It was so very bad. Um, part of the house is still an egg or part of an egg, but I'm really, really happy with this. I think this looks a lot better. So we've got some brick and then we've got some gray concrete. So we're adding some contrast. So you see, and I picked up the gray concrete up here in the top. Um, I'm really digging where it's heading right now. I think up here in the middle, uh, I think this is going to be a deck right here and it's going to be copied on the other side. You can see it's kind of the same thing, but on this side, it's going to be an actual room um, instead of a deck. So that way it's the same, but different. You know what I mean? And then I think we're just going to have maybe a strip of glass going around. Maybe, hold on, let's see. I think I have, I do, okay. So I think up here, oh, I don't have any way up. Okay, I'm thinking right in, let's see. We could probably get away with going maybe here. So I'm thinking this could be like a, a luxury bathroom. And then that's why there's only like the strip of glass. And then the rest of the wall, I think, is just going to be diorite. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like this needs to come back a little bit more. I know I'm talking and building and building and talking and, you know, all that kind of... It's, it's how I work through things. It's actually a lot easier for me to build if I'm, if I'm talking to y'all while I do it. Because, you, know, it, it, you know, it's a sounding board, right? Uh, I feel like we should probably get the roof the same and then go from there, right? Just trying to think if we bring the glass in one. So if it's like right there, we get rid of this. And then we have diorite there. So if this comes all the way around, like I said, that would, that would, you know, make sense as to why it's, you know, if it was a bathroom, you know, that would, it would make sense that it's got a smaller window, right? At least, I think. Makes sense to me. Ah, no. Okay. So let's go a little bit like it. Oh, son of a. And like that, this is probably going to come down. And then some more diorite. Obviously, I like diorite. Diorite is good. Okay. And it's all polished diorite. It's not the normal diorite. You know, most of the time when I see someone say they've got an issue with diorite, it's um regular diorite. And I only build with polished. <laughs> so it makes a difference, I feel like. I don't know. I like all... I mean, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of like unpolished diorite, right? like normal diorite. Right? It's not the greatest block ever, but I feel like it's not bad at all. That is even, right? Uh-oh. Is that? Yeah, it's even. Okay, it just, it, it looked off for some reason, but as you can see, it, it does mirror each other um, without being the exact same thing, which I like. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this thing back here in the back. Um, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I think I might just have it go up and then across. And then the entire roof up here, I think is going to be a big like rooftop balcony kind of thing. Maybe with a, like a pool or something. Um, but that's, you know, something that's going to have to be worked on at some point. We've done some stuff today. It's been a very busy day for me, trying to get everything around and get everything together, do all of that kind of jazz. But I think as far as this build is concerned, it's headed in a really good direction. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So hopefully you guys are too. Uh, as you can see, like I said, I still got some more back here to kind of fix up and do stuff with. But 
other than that, this place is looking pretty, pretty dang nice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll see y'all next time.